Struggling with blood sugar levels, ready to shed those extra pounds effortlessly? Look no further. Sugar Defender, the number one rated blood sugar formula, is here to transform your health and help you achieve your wellness goals. Click the link in the video description to get started with Sugar Defender today. A shopper who raged that she was asked to show her receipt after being forced to use self-checkout has said there is only one store she would ever comply with. Receipt checks at stores have been a subject of debate amongst shoppers with many saying they refuse the request. Retailers use the practice to lower the risk of theft, which has cost the industry billions of dollars in recent years. However, one shopper went on a long Facebook rant after she was forced to use self-checkout at a store. Only place I stop to let them check my receipt is Costco, and I don't do the Costco self-checkout ever, wrote Sharon Marie. Stores such as Costco and Sam's Club have policies regarding receipt checks that every shopper has to agree to before signing a membership contract. We do this to double-check that the items purchased have been correctly processed by our cashiers, said Costco. It's our most effective method of maintaining accuracy in inventory control, and it's also a good way to ensure that our members have been charged properly for their purchases. Marie explained that the store she was in had a worker who was checking everyone's receipts at the exit. She said she chose not to participate in that nonsense because she had already scanned her items at self-checkout. So I just skipped the exit line and left, she wrote. I heard her saying M, um, excuse me, as I kept walking and raised the receipt above my head, leaving the store. You can either trust me to do self-checkout, or you can put your cashiers back in place like it used to be. Marie said she wasn't interested in proving that she purchased her items since she did your job for you. If you want me to be a cashier with no training then that's your problem, not mine. Experts have debated whether or not shoppers should show their receipts when asked by store employees. Cameron Dalatshahi, a Los Angeles attorney and a founding partner at Mill Sudat Dalat LLP, told the U.S. that customers have rights regarding receipt checks. You can say no, but maybe it creates an unnecessary hassle for yourself, he said. In an effort to curtail retail crime, stores are increasingly turning to receipt checks as shoppers exit. Legally, stores can ask to see a customer's receipts, and membership-only stores have the right to demand such checks if shoppers agreed to terms and conditions that authorize it. Many legal professionals have weighed in and come to similar conclusions, caveating that all states do have specific laws. Generally speaking, stores have shopkeepers privilege laws that allow them to detain a person until authorities arrive when they have reasonable suspicion that a crime, like theft, has been committed. Declining to provide a receipt is not a reason in itself for a store to detain a customer, they must have further reason to suspect a shopper of criminal activity. Due to the recent nature of the receipt checks, there is little concrete law on the legality of the practice, as it takes time for law to catch up with technology. Setliff Law, PC claims that there is no definitive case law specifically relating to refusal to produce a receipt for purchases. For stores that improperly use their shopkeeper's privilege, they could face claims of false imprisonment. The primary law that applies to these types of wrongful detention cases is called false imprisonment, explained Hudson Valley local attorney Alex Mainetti. Of course, you're not literally imprisoned, but you're detained by a person who has no lawful authority to detain you and or wrongfully detains a customer. It is likely that as altercations in stores over receipt checks continue, more court cases will occur giving clearer definitions and boundaries to the legality of receipt checks. However, he warned that the police might show up at a person's house to follow up if the store has reason to believe they were stealing. I would say, show your receipt. It's just a really simple thing to do, he said. If you didn't steal anything, it's relatively simple to do. However, a retailer can't use excessive force without probable cause when checking a receipt, said an attorney with West Coast Trial Lawyers, a personal injury law firm. It must be non-discriminatory, he added.